guys, welcome back. Today we're talking all about orange. Now that it's starting to feel like spring sometimes, I love pulling out my orange lipsticks. They're my favorite and I can't get enough of them in the spring. But we're not just going to talk about lipsticks today, we're going to talk about eyeshadows, blush, nail polish, and maybe even one bonus item at the end. So if you want to see my orange picks, keep watching. For orange eyeshadows, we are going to talk about the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Volume 1 Matte Lux Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. Yes, that is what it's called. And the two shades in this I'm going to talk about today are Sunrise and Sunset. Sunrise has a little bit more of a peachy brown tone and Sunset is a rusty colored orange. And I think it makes these eyeshadows really flattering and easy to wear. Let me show you a couple of swatches of these. I am wearing this eyeshadow palette today, although I didn't wear the orange tones because I went for the orange lips and the orange blush. But if you'd like to see how I would do that, let me know. Or if you want to see how I did this look today, I would be happy to put that up for you guys. But these are just really beautiful, easy eyeshadows. This is a great palette to have. It is on the more expensive end. It's about, I think, $42, something like that. I got it when it was 20% off free shipping from the website, so keep an eye out for those sorts of deals. I have one orange blush to show you today, and it is the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Coral Reef. Now this is seriously orange but it's wearable. I like to apply this with the e.l.f. small stipple brush. This is how I have it on today because this brush has longer, more flexible and less densely packed hairs and it really shears out the color. So I just dab that in the blush and this gives you a nice, easy, natural look that just, to me, screams spring. Nail polish isn't really my thing. Clearly, but if I am going to wear nail polish, I'm going to be lazy about it because there is nothing worse than sitting around for an hour, painting your nails carefully, letting them dry, not touching anything, and then they smudge anyway. This is from Rimmel. It is their 60 second formula in hot chili pepper. Now it takes more than 60 seconds to dry. I would say about five minutes, but that's still pretty good. And this is a beautiful, bright, vibrant orange. I like this in the summer. I like this in the late spring. So if you're going to go orange, you're going to get this one. When I was trying to decide what lip colors to show you guys, I went through and pulled all of the ones out of my collection that I like, and I came up with eight. No one needs eight orange lipsticks, except for me. And I picked the three that I'm just leaning towards and gravitating towards now. That's what I did. So the first one I'm going to show you is what I have on my lips right now. And this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Frutti. And this is a nice bright orange that I love, but it is so easy to wear. These lipsticks are comfortable. They're moisturizing. They go on a little bit sheer at first, but you can build up the color and get a nice punch. And there's the color right there. Next, we're going to talk about a matte finish. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick by Kate Moss. If you saw my video on these, I did lip swatches and a review, and I showed number 109, which is this really nice peachy shade that I wear all the time. However, since then, I have not been able to find this in the drugstore, so I'm thinking it may not be available anymore. However, I did get a new one that I'm liking a lot, and I'm going to show you that one now. This is number 110, and it is a little bit of a brighter, more vibrant orange, but it is still extremely wearable. And I think what makes this so wearable is that it has a little bit of pink in it. I talk more about the formula of these in the video. You can see it there if you're interested, but I think this is just a really fun orange color. I love a bright, bold orange lip, but I know that's not for everybody, so I am including an option that I think is a little bit easier to wear. And this is the Revlon lipstick in Lover's Coral, and this is one of their shine formulas. So it's super sheer and 
a little bit glossy and I can put this over other lipsticks or on its own for just a hint of color. I'm going to swatch this one up here. So there you go, just a tiny bit of color, but it's not going to pack a punch like the others do. But I love this. This is one that I can just keep in my purse and throw on when I'm running out the door or if I want a little color, but nothing too much. Those are my orange makeup picks for you. And my one bonus item is skincare. This is the Ula Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. And I love this. I use it to wash my face every night. And what's cool about this cleanser is that it's actually a gel. You can see it's an orange gel there. But when you massage it into your dry skin, it turns into an oil. So you kind of get that oil cleanse at the same time. Now you can then add water and it emulsifies. It turns into a milk, but I like to take it off with a washcloth. I've gone through multiple tubs of this. Stop by Sephora and get a sample and check it out. Those are my favorite orange products. What are yours? Let me know down below so that I can go shopping. We'll kind of enable each other that way. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that I can see you next time. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I think I'm in the minority here. I say both. Sometimes I say orange. Sometimes I say orange. But if I say them both in this video, I'll look like a crazy person. And I'm trying to keep that under wraps, the crazy. So... I thought about making this video a series, but then I realized that I started with orange. And if I'm going to do a series on this, I needed to start with red. Roy G. Biv. So what am I gonna do? Hashtag OCD problems. God damn it, that hair. I don't do hair, people. I don't do hair, and this one hair just needs to do something different. Blah. This hair. This is just a nice pale yellow shade that I use to tone down nectar at first. And this is my transition shade. So what this means is we're gonna put it all over the crease. It can be kind of